Hey, this is Jay Sean with East Starland back with another video. We have this giant trading of GameCube games from Joy of Ohio, and we're gonna get to unboxing this. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's actually the rare game alarm that we had here installed at East Starland. And of course, we have one of the rarest games to ever come out on GameCube. That is Gotcha Force from Yoshihiro Sudo, which is the guy who's giving us a bangers like Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2 and Capcom vs. SNK 1 and 2. Now uh, this game is really hard to find. It's one of those games that makes it worth the trouble it takes to find it. The soundtrack's amazing. The gameplay is simple and to the point. It's a very colorful and lively game where you follow a kid who meets a small robot who is a part of a species of larger, more armed gotcha force robots and you form a force to fight evil robots it's as simple as that but you collect these little gotcha toy figures and you fight more evil robots and you save the world now uh, right here i have the hobbit which ironically this was the very first exposure i ever had to lord of the rings this came out in 2003 which was made by sierra studios uh or sierra entertainment i should say um now the only reason i know about this one is one integral game to my childhood was Metal Arms Glitch in the System, which I managed to pull out of East Starland's back vault there. Now, on the back of the manual here is a flyer. Now, I was always curious about what that game was, but I never knew that was part of a larger universe. And this was obviously long before I had watched any of the movies. So it's really crazy to think that the back of a manual to another game made by the same studio released at the same time was my ex first exposure to one of the largest fantasy franchises of all time. Also, uh, a quick note about Prisoner of Azkaban and Goblet of Fire. Outside of the utterly fantastic uh, combat system and spell system that was at its peak during this portion of the Harry Potter franchise, um, it gave you incentive to backtrack through all the maps, who unlock spells, you go back and visit areas that you couldn't reach unless you unlock those spells so the replayability with this is an all-time buy in the games that came out of my childhood so you can play as harry hermione or ron and you just get the two of your other friends and you have a good time now let me tell you something as well i've spent more hours into both of these games than i had into reading any any of the books which is probably why i work at east starland and not a library <laughs> And uh, finally, just a quick note about Shadow the Hedgehog. I grew up with the Sonic Mega Collection Plus and Sonic Heroes, which we also had here as well. But Sonic Riders was my main game. Now, Shadow was also in Sonic Riders, which was released around the same time as this. I was always curious as to who this edgy, dark, mysterious character was in an otherwise happy, colorful, family-friendly franchise. I mean, look at him. He's holding a rifle and there's an explosion in the background and he's just reaching towards you like, come and grab me. You want to figure out what's what's so dark and mysterious about him. So once you check it out, you'll find that this is an actually a fast paced, awesome addition to the Sonic franchise. That was the black sheep or black hedgehog. He's a little bit red, right? Black and red. Right. <laughs> uh, just a couple of shout outs to some other games here. I mean, we got a uh, series of unfortunate events, uh, Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe, Narnia, Hero's Tale on Spyro, Super Monkey Ball, uh, Pokemon Channel. I mean, who doesn't want to watch TV with Pikachu? I mean, you sit down, come on. Awesome four player, we got some awesome four player adventure games in here like The Incredibles and Shrek 2. I mean, Joy seems like the type of person who really likes just getting some friends with some great franchises and just sitting around the TV and playing. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, nice. Uh, Harvest Moon, Wonderful Life, which fun fact that the uh, later on this year in 2023, this game's coming to Switch too. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, Star Fox Assault, kind of embarrassing. I would always get this game mixed up with Star Fox Adventures, which is a drastic gap in quality. Like Star Fox Assault is awesome, man. Star Fox Adventures. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, Bionicle Robots, we got some sports games here too and uh we got a tasm on it as well but um seriously this is one of the better halls uh not besides the fact that it includes 
this rare gem here. But uh, we want to thank you, Joy, for uh, sending this in to us. And you got some great, great games here. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see what we unbox next. Thank you all. See you later.